Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about thermal spraying. What is thermal spraying? Thermal spraying techniques are coating processes in which melted or heated materials are sprayed onto a surface. Thermal spraying can provide thick coatings over a large area at high deposition rate as compared to the other coating process such as electroplating, physical and chemical vapor deposition. Coating materials available for thermal spraying include metals, alloys, ceramics, plastics and composites. Coating quality is usually assessed by measuring its porosity, oxide content, macro and micro hardness, bond strength and surface roughness. Generally, the coating quality increases with increasing particle velocities. Now, let us understand the components of thermal spraying. A typical thermal spray system consists of the following components. Spray torch or a spray gun. The core device performing the melting and acceleration of the particles to be deposited. Feeder for supplying the powder, wire or liquid to the torch through tubes. Media supply. Gases or liquids for the generation of the flame or plasma jet, gases for carrying the powder, etc. Robot or labor for manipulating the torch or the substrates to be coated. Power supply, often standalone for the torch. Control console, either integrated or individual for all of the above. Here we can see the thermal spraying components. Next, let us learn what are the types of thermal spray. The types of thermal spraying depends on what type of energy source we use. They are classified into electrical energy source and chemical energy source. In electrical energy source, the medium that is the plasma or arc medium. In plasma that is air and special atmosphere. In case of air that is atmospheric plasma spraying and shrouded plasma spraying. In special atmosphere that is vacuum plasma spraying, inert gas, gas plasma spraying, low pressure plasma spraying, controlled atmosphere plasma spraying, underwater plasma spraying. In case of chemical energy source, it has flame and high velocity hoxy fuel spraying. In coming videos, we will be learning each of the sources and each of the thermal spraying techniques. What are the main advantages and disadvantages of thermal spraying techniques? Advantages It has wide selection spray materials, wide selection of substrate materials, speed of coating formation is fast, wide range of substrate dimensions, on-site work possible, coating can be formed while keeping substrate at low temperature. Spraying is a dry process so environmental impact is low. In case of disadvantages, thermal spray coating does not always indicate the characteristics of the original material. Thick coatings are difficult to achieve. Low degree of adhesion that is spray efficiency on small substrates and substrates with small curvature. The coating formation process is not sufficiently clear and the relationship between the causes parameters of the application process and coating characteristics is also unexplained. I hope from this video you understood what is the basic principle of thermal spraying, what are the components of thermal spraying, what are the main types of thermal spraying and advantages and disadvantages of thermal spraying. These are the references for the information provided in this video. Thank you for watching with this video and if you want to get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.